it's keeping us off the street though. It's well, keeping is, a lot of it? kids off the street. I would say social yes. media is making you go to the streets to loot and destroy that. Y'all there there's no way like look, back in the day, bro, when people was hitting licks and stuff, people was trying to do that on the on the cut during that night. Y'all doing y'all doing during in the daylight with no cameras. hitting the stores, breaking shit open, breaking windows though, hitting the jury stores where cameras are looking dead at you. Nobody yeah. in my generation was doing that dumb shit. Nobody was trying to get caught. Y'all yeah, are exactly. snitching on yourselves, yeah. and y'all don't give a. Y'all yeah. don't care about that. Yeah. We didn't do yeah. that. Why, why yeah. did we do yeah. that? We did that in the cut in the shadows. Why do they do that? Why do people self snitch and risk that? Because they don't give. A, they don't care. Yeah, for but the, for the on, likes and the views and the attention and the clout. Yeah. When you get yeah, there's you, a thing out there. Yeah. Clout. It's very. It's a drug. It's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're Gen. You're Gen Z, right? Uh yes, nineteen. You wanted to have a discussion. Seven and to uh, to twenty twelve. That's Gen Z. Okay. So you wanted to have a discussion world. about why this society is trash, because y'all motherfuckers been we have ruined it. Uh yes, I did yeah. want to have a discussion. I don't think we, I don't think we did that, but okay. So where's your head at, bro? Uh, how old are you? Um, I'm twenty four. And uh, where are you from, brother? I'm from the south side of Chicago. The south side of Chicago. That's that's the worst part of Chicago, is it not? Uh, that is the worst part of Chicago. You can say that, yeah. Yeah. Are you are you are you far from O Block? No, I'm not far. Okay, cool. So you're in hell, basically. Um Sure. Cool, cool, cool. At least you're not as much as in hell as people from Baltimore. <laughs> but you know, yeah. be that as it may. So you're you said how old, what was it again? Did you say twenty four? Twenty four. Yes. You're a twenty four year old from the south side of Chicago, Illinois. This is two thousand and twenty four. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I would like to a little bit know know uh, a little bit more about you. Where, what is your, how did you, what was your upbringing? You know, same mom, same dad. Any brothers or sisters? Were they married? What's the life in the beginning of Qui Gon? So the life starts with uh my my mom and my uh father they my father split with my mom so it started with that oh. so I never saw my uh father my father he's Mexican and my mother is black right oh. so so it started with that in Chicago so um oh. starting with that when that happened. My mother ended up getting uh, locked up for a, a violent a violent crime oh. that happened with 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 a, another uh, man that came in her life, and oh. uh, he was toxic as hell, and that's how that happened. And then once that happened, she got locked up, so that had to take me away. Then I was with my cousins for a little while, but uh, DCFS was called, so then I was sent to um, foster What's care. What's DCFS? What is DCFS? Uh, DCFS is the program where kids get sent to when the kid is uh, either neglected or you know uh, just just wrong shit done to him, like in a house. And he's not a living condition for a kid. They get sent to DCFS. Oh, that's sad to yeah. hear. So basically, you were you were screwed from jump because your mother and your father weren't married. Then your father got up out of there, left your mom to raise you alone. She brought in a boyfriend into her home. He was toxic. She probably did something violent to him. So violent that it got her locked up. You didn't have a father or a mother at a point. You had to stay with cousins and relatives and stuff. And that didn't work out for you because DFS got involved and said, this is not a place, a, a safe place for this child. And then you went into the foster care system. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. You so got right. <clears throat> number one. Flat red flag, daddy wasn't there, which a lot of us could have. A lot of us, a lot of us have that, that yep, mother yep, yep, same story. Yep. It's always it's been that way for community. a long, long, long time. Yep. You hear people talk about the father not there for the longest. You really barely hear about the mother not there, but you always hear about the father not there. From every, even if you hear from even from celebrities, oh my mom, my, my mom's was there, but pops wasn't there. Pops left, or pops don't know who mom don't know who pops is. It's always never stops. I hear those stories. I empathize with those stories. I empathize with quite gone, but I, I have my daddy. Mm. This nigga. <laughs> so like, you don't, like, you don't, 
That's you don't tough, fit a part bro. of that category. That's tough. Mm-hmm. Well, <clears throat> so do you mind? Ideas. So, so huh. your but what got me was you said your dad was Mexican, but your mom was black. Yes. So there's a stigma about the black men opposite. leaving the house because you know the toxicity. Right. But your father, he's not black. He was Hispanic, and he still ended up leaving your mom. Crazy, right? Do you think because he was trash, or your mom's toxic, or a mixture of both? What do you know? Um, I don't know. I didn't know that much. Well, I actually did because it was actually on the news with my mom. It was on this like, uh, oh fuck. She yeah, she did. She she it was out. She was a part of like uh. Some type of shit on the news. Well, it was wasn't a cult. A channel it? that was no, nah, it wasn't that. No, it was like a channel that that like get mothers up there or like parents up there and like like teen mom type. It, it describes yeah yeah. It kind of like described on how they had an effed up uh, upbringing or something like that. What effed so you like a child like up. a teen mama baby. Like Teen Mom kind of no 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 okay it was about prison I remember it, it was about oh, uh, oh, mamas and stuff oh, getting super. sent to jail and stuff like that so I watched that so when I was watching I'm like oh they talked about a lot about my mom and my auntie talked about her on there and she was a uh, she was a uh, church girl actually at first mm. but she kept on trying yeah, to happens. go to the yeah she kept on trying to go to the uh, other side and there was this guy that kept on you know bring her to that side and it ended up you know turning her like to the dark side on some fucking star wars shit and gotcha. she um and that's what actually made her she wasn't that at first she did it was a, i came from a church family so it was just you know it's it's like the being the around girl, the wrong crowd she was around the wrong crowd and shit yeah it's like the girl being in a um in a in a church shit but then she don't want to be that type shit you get what she I mean? Start wilding so out. That, she start wilding out and stuff. Yeah, she start yeah, wilding yeah. out and shit like that. So yeah, I get you. Yeah, she she had she had mistakes in her life, but you know I don't I don't. Okay, I don't you said that. Uh, so what 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 uh yeah? What did your mama do? All right, so your your dad that that dissolved. That didn't work. You know she that family was torn apart. But then it was a part where your mom had custody of you before she ended up going to prison. When. Were you how old were you when your mother went to prison? You must have been really young. Yeah, I was one. Oh fuck! Oh yeah. So okay. I, this, this, yeah. So she found a new boyfriend relatively early. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she got your dad's gone. You're one. She got another boyfriend, and she had issues with him to the point where she committed a violent act against him. And she landed in jail. Obviously, usually, whenever there's like violence and like the DV, the the man is the one who goes yep, to jail. The first Even call. if there's yeah, like that's what benefit I'm saying. of doubt. Did you pour hot water yeah. on her like my mama did to my daddy? Like what y'all do? Your mama poured like, hot your water mama? on your daddy. Oh yeah, she, when she was six months, no, nine months pregnant with my brother, she poured hot water on on that nigga. Fuck. You lucky it wasn't grits. I'm just asking. You know, I'm being transparent. My mama pour hot grits on my daddy. I'm like, what are you? And she cut my daddy with a knife, like right here. That's why he got a scar. But that's what I'm just saying. But what is your experience? You still left up too. <laughs> Completely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We need to get a his story. <laughs> hey, bro. What's your what? What did your what's your mom do to the man? What happened? Do you know? Um. She didn't. What, what you mean with the boyfriend that she had? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, yeah. The, with the boyfriend that, that got her in jail. She she was didn't. It grits? The, what the the story that I got from it? No, it wasn't grits. The story that I got from it was that he was just being totally toxic. She didn't do nothing to him. Oh, you talking about the 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 toxic nigga that that made her? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, one, the reason why she went the to jail toxic for toxic guy. Yeah. She she did an act of violence against him, and she got thrown in prison. Oh no no, no no no. Okay. Did she no, cut no, him with a knife? No, no, no. That wasn't that. She oh, got oh. into a violent crime with him doing something to somebody else. Oh. oh. Perfect. Yeah. And she didn't want to be a part of it, Shout but she was so. She didn't want to be a part of it, so it was like this. She, was, my mother was a. Uh, so your mama jumped was somebody. Abu- so my, mama jumped. my mother was my mother was abused, bro. So yeah, okay. she was getting abused by him, and she was like getting locked in rooms, like you can't go nowhere. And it's like it's, so he was being as being toxic assaulted. as he could. Yeah, and, and locked her in rooms and shit. And so while I, 
Your mama was Whitney. Your daddy was Bobby. That wasn't his daddy. No, right? that's not my daddy. That's my. Keep wait, wait, wait. How, story how did? How did? So he did something. That, how did she get caught up in it though? That's what I'm saying. How did she get caught up in it? Did he make her take? She the got rap? caught up in it. She got caught up in it because he was. He forced her to come to do the crime with oh. him. Yeah, come you. We going for a ride. So, so she was scared for her life, and she he forced so her. He, to yeah. So he that boyfriend went to jail too. Yeah, he got life sentence. He got the death sentence actually. Oh shit. Yeah. Death sentence. So someone died in this robbery. Yes. Someone died. So it's so like, a murder charge. It's like a, a murder charge. Well, um. Yeah. Usually, of course. when someone yeah. dies, you get a murder charge. Good shitty man. <sighs> W E man, <laughs> hey, but it was a uh, the reason why she was I an accessory was because... to come with the accessory to commit murder. Like they put her on that or what? Yeah, yep, that's what that was. But but for to in my personal opinion, I feel like she got too many years. She got like twenty four years, bro. Yeah, oh, damn. Yeah, they that's gave her though. too many years. But the only reason why I feel like they gave her those years is because she the uh, man shot a white woman. Oh, and she's an assassin yeah. and killed her. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah. uh, uh, one more question about your past before we get into the future. Uh, you're 24. She got 24 years. She probably got time served. That means that she she should be out next year. If if not, she got paroled and she's already out. Where's your mom? Uh, my mom is currently just now getting out. Uh, seen her last week. Okay. Uh, it was it was a real good feeling. Cried with her and her hug. Took took her out for dinner and uh. That's deep, bro. She's doing good. She got a, a little apartment and she's uh I go and see her every once in a while. Uh, I saw her on, on Instagram that that she has a girlfriend. So she's a lesbian. And I was like, oh, it's oh, your girl? Oh, fuck, Jesus. who's this? Oh, oh. Yeah, I was like, who's this? And she's like, it's my girl. And I was like, oh, fuck. I was like, all right. changed like, her. But but she found but she left she she got out and she found some love. So love has no gender. Shout out to you, quiet guy. Love yeah. has well, no some gender. Will, some would say that she found prison love because changed she was her. in women prison. Yeah, prison so, changed you know, her. Love has no gender. The prison has something to do prison with that. Prison no? completely changed no, her. No, no, that's on her. She was with a man and then she went to straight to a woman. Now you that's on her. Heart. That. She didn't prison, have a man that goes straight to a woman. She had a man went to prison yeah. and was around women for twenty five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on her heart. Nah. Yeah. It you only know, makes sense no. for my mama to be gay anyway. But, uh. <laughs> John but, Bath, um, we hear you, bro. What? Okay, John Bath, right. I hear you. All right, but, so um, we, got the, we got the history on Qui Gon. This 24 year uh, old yes. kid who had a really, he had a really had hard uh, childhood, mm -hmm. I would say. But it's not all so bad, right? Because I'm pretty sure, based off what you went through, your your baby your your father being out the out the home she can be bringing a toxic boyfriend her going to prison you going to your family DPS coming through taking you away putting you into foster care would you say that mm -hmm. the most once you got into foster care was life better or worse than it was for you before? Uh, it was worse at first because when you go to a lot of uh, foster care homes, it's a lot of uh, people Drama. that just want the money that mm -hmm. that that come with the kid be, yeah. mm -hmm. the check. So when so they just treat you like shit, but when they come around, they try to act like nice, and that's the most thing I hated about that shit. When the worker came around, and shit, yeah, yeah. When the worker came around, it's like damn, a whole different person. Mm -hmm. But um, that's that crazy. that 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 led to me later being like, I remember being in school and like people like throw shit at me, and I would like I would have like a flinch or like a. I'll be good with flinching. Like, I'll flinch always, flashback. bro. And people yeah. ask me, yeah, and that came from that. And uh, every, every fucking time. And maybe that led to me being, like, fucking aggressive in high school and in middle school. But, yeah, that, that led to that. But after I got to get with a home that was, or after I got with that trash shit, I got to a home with a loving uh godmother that i'm still staying with currently nice. and um i love her i love her to yeah, death man. and uh I'm happy for you, she, man. I'm happy yeah without her i feel like um yeah i don't know where i'd be you know probably be another statistic i'd be on the street how man. old were you when you got with this in this in this wholesome home how old were you uh i was eight okay so he went from uh, one, one or two yeah. to eight in hell or bullshit. Yeah. One, yeah, and then yeah. from eight on, that that's enough time to have a positive influence on your life. 
from eight yes. up until adulthood. Because I was eight when my shit was wrecked and when I got my stepdad as well. When my shit got mm-hmm. positive. Yeah. So we have that in common. So, all right, now. So we have, the, we have the gist on who you are, bro. Uh, when I say that society is trash and the reason why you want to have this conversation, is there something that you disagree here on? Or why is it that you want to even have this discussion? Because, you know, it sounds like you understand how trash society is. But talk to me. I just feel like that society isn't trash when it comes to type of stuff like when people try to attack people like social media is garbage or try to attack that point mm-hmm. i feel like it's a positive and it's a negative with it right so i feel like it's more knowledge that you can gain from it from back then that you didn't have no no internet and you couldn't really get on a web page so you couldn't find out new things that you wouldn't know because i'm pretty sure Y'all in the studio, y'all probably found out a lot of shit when internet started coming out and you started getting yeah. social media. More more uh, uh, education probably came to you through that, throughout that way. And just imagine us growing up as kids, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah there was a negative path. Too, yeah, too much. Too much Back in the day, it was the yellow pages. That's too much information. It was a dictionary. Yeah, we didn't have yellow yeah. pages, dictionary. Yeah, yeah that's By the time that social media came yeah. big for us, we were already like adults or grown or like yeah. almost you yeah. know, of age to where we already had our own mind. But some of these kids right now are getting raised on social media though. Yeah. So that's fakeness. The they getting raised on a lot of fakeness yeah. and not the real. Yeah, but yeah. while while my while my generation is often like criticized for, you know, a sex of excessive use of social media, it's so much good that can come from it. And using social media and the platforms for a positive communication, you know? And the stuff like uh activisms, that's on social media, uh networking rather than, you know, solely for like, validation for a uh, 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 comparison for another person like it's more you can get a lot of from it when i say like positive communication like when you down or whatever and people say it's fake love that a person can come to you on the internet but if you post something like i feel bad people in your life might not feel for you you feel me in real right. life but people on the internet they can come for you and they can talk to you because i met some cool people on the internet bro i met some cool people on discord shout out to mecca shout out to people like evolve shout out to people like uh you know mal shout out to people like swag but but, but see you know? using discord as a reason why the internet is a good thing is a little bit of a a misdirection and it's really whistling it's misleading for sure whistling in the coal mine it's not really it's it's you know because this this our my discord is, is unique a, community it is unique yeah. in the fact that that's how i have cultivated it right yep, yep. the jody's corner community is a way that i've cultivated my community mm-hmm. why am i this way i'm not a social media head i'm not a gen z i have an older mentality of how mm-hmm. it uh, a different mentality of how it is to cultivate a community i want real ones here i want free thinkers i want people who could have a most people who have discords, a lot of them shits probably be toxic and bullshit. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. This JC community in the discord situation, there's people who join this discord who are like-minded individuals, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it took you a while to get your discord that way, but you got it. You got where you actually need to be. Right. So that's a little bit. So yeah. having to eve all and people like that, you know what I'm saying? It's because yeah, but of their affinity of the, this community. But yeah, and I feel you, but at the same time, you can't take away that, you know? You, you you can't just say all right this bad thing but you don't look at the good shit you know what i'm saying don't look but, at the good I shit i am they, taking it away because it. this is only this way because of someone of old who made it this way yeah this is not the norm this is not the exception to the rule yeah you you taking away positive shit from it because you're making the, this the yes, rule not the positive. exception because because the negative shit overweighs it right that's what you're doing there are more negative discord, discord not of the discord negative shit. The negative stuff no, I'm on saying, the internet, even, yes. Even even shit on, on Facebook, media? you can yeah, yeah. Even even shit on Facebook and Instagram, they can yeah. do the same thing. You could you can uh meet people that that really fuck with you. And like I said, I said activism shit too. But look at uh, the eyes that uh, you're gauging look, it from. I mean, you're, it's a little bit different because like when you saw um women looking at like freaking music videos and all that type of shit, they wasn't trying to be like the music video on social media. They're trying to be like the what? girl on on what? more on that. Yes, they I, is. I don't, what you are telling you talking me? about? Our, compared, our girls when we was growing up, the girls that we was talking to, the bitches was glued to music videos. Compared to, compared to social media, 
people are trying to be more that they see more at, compared to a music video. Nah, bro, you let me tell you something. Like right if now. Kim Kardashian do her lips, everybody's trying to do their lips like that because they saw it on the internet. If they get, if that's not a music. A, that's a, not a, a music a BBL, video. That's trying not to a get, music video. Don't jump from music video to Kim Kardashian. She's not a celeb. She's not a freaking artist. She don't do, do music. She has no talent. She's a degenerate on social media. Music video and social media are different. Right. I understand. It's, all, it's the, it's the right, media right, right, people right. That, that put it out there. It's the same, but right. different. What you were saying is bullshit. The girl, when we was coming up, all the bitches did was listen to music videos on The Box. Uh, 106 in Park. TRL. Music videos on freaking Music Choice. Was they whatever that she was. Was they changing like they are now to from today? Yeah. Social Little media was. is changing them more than the music. Because I just freaking uh, seen that music videos are at an all time low in views because people don't care about music videos they only as care much. About what's on the internet. Today, because they're on what? They care about what's on the internet. On the internet, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, they're on that. Right. A lot of the youth are more on social media than they are watching music videos. Right. Even, but they watch those music videos too. But just it just isn't as it big do, as no, it was yeah. when we were when we were coming up. Right, that's what I was saying. That's what I'm, right. that's what I'm saying. The the effect. That's not what you're saying, but all the right. effect of it. The effect of it was not the same as it is social media. Social media effect is way different compared to those music videos that we that that we watched as kids or those girls watched as kids. It's more effective on social media. They they want to be like that character. They want to have that. They want oh you know oh you gotta have this you gotta have that you gotta have this the way they were was not the same as they are now what's more influential to our youth what they see on YouTube Twitter Instagram Twitch etc or music and music videos I would say now is YouTube Twitter and Instagram and all the rest of that I would I would probably agree with that. Because this whole thing with Joe Budden versus Kai Sinat and all that. The, the, these hip-hop dudes, these, these rap dudes, these Nicki Minajs, streaming is kind of taking over yeah, it's always the music way industry. Way wait, wait, way they're getting the more money heard, off of that shit. We hear more about that shit than we hear about the actual music. Yeah, We hear about like, what the album is. We don't even right. debate albums anymore. Like we you don't hear song. Like right. you, you can see Lizzo on a music video, and nobody's trying to do that, be like how she is. But you see Liz Lizzo on social media back and forth, and somebody doing constantly trying to be like that. Why did you break? Why do you hate fat? I'm, Lizzo is a cute fat girl. For you, you're shallow, shallow how nigga shallow. How. But is you know, it's like that though. I mean, it's that's the difference between like 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 your generation, though, Qui Gon. Like your generation mm -hmm. is, is basically our puppets. Uh, he said are, it, I are, you guys are mind controlled um, because y'all young. A I, lot of I can, are mind controlled. I can't understand that. I, I, can, I, can understand, I can understand that, but it's like it's keeping us off the street, though. It's right. keeping is, a lot of it? kids off the street. I would say social yes. media is making you go to the streets to loot and destroy. I was going to say that y'all. There, there's no way. Like, look. Back in the day, bro, when people was hitting licks and stuff, people was trying to do that on the on the cut during that night. Y'all doing low. shit. Y'all doing shit during in the daylight. With no cameras. Hitting the stores, breaking shit open, breaking windows though, hitting the jury stores where cameras are looking dead at you. Nobody yeah. in my generation was doing that dumb shit because nope. nobody was trying to get caught. Y'all yeah, are right. snitching on yourselves, yeah. and y'all don't give a. Y'all yeah. don't care yeah. about that. Yeah. We didn't do yeah, shit we like that. Why, why we yeah, do we that don't. shit? We did that shit in the cut in the shadows. Why do they do that? Why do people self snitch and risk that? Cause they don't give a fuck. They don't care. Yeah, for but the, for the on, likes and the views and the attention and the clout. Yeah. When you get yeah, there's you, a thing out there. Yeah. Clout. It's very. It's a drug. It's dangerous. Uh -huh. Yeah. And these motherfuckers, these girls, these young girls and these young boys that are your your age and around your age, are willing to sacrifice their health, their you safety, their freedom, yep. their dignity, dignity, yep, for the views and the clout. They that is a new thing yep. that has struck society that never existed in human history, at least modern human history, bro. Y'all show money on a on a freaking screen twenty four seven. Oh, look at me, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here getting it. When you getting it, bro, nobody needs to know. No man needs to count your pockets and see what I mean, you Cameron got. Cameron did it too. You're so, showing, so what do you have to say about that? Cameron did said, it too. He wore money in his hat, yeah. but I get yeah. it. Yeah, you have you have the looting that happen, and you have people that show money, and you have people that uh, you know, do bad things and and encourage you to do it on the internet. But that's showing you that people are out there doing that shit. Like E Man said, y'all did it back then, but y'all just didn't show it. The difference is we're showing it now, 
So it's le- at least we know we're letting y'all know that we're doing this now and we're self snitching on ourselves and no, this was going no, on. You, you can't make know, an excuse. No, you know, no. you know, you know the bad people and people are recognizing this and seeing this on the internet and like, oh, these niggas are stupid nowadays and why are they doing this? Even people in our generation think that. Some people I, in our generation think that they, this is stupid and why are they yeah. doing this? Bro, they, is y- that that. I think that I think that died out with like to be honest with me I think all that doing shit on social media it died out with Boom Gang if y'all remember that I think no, I after that. him it died out no they're because still people, doing it left and right it's all it's it's on no it's it's, it's the internet it died out right with, now oh. bro they hit but a I'm train saying, station it died they hit out, a train that was saying, weird the governor no, of I'm saying Florida it died out from the, the governor of Florida shit. had to put stupid restrictions on Florida. Because spring break is coming up, and they don't want to. Oh have yeah, a they released a commercial. What happened last year? They released a commercial about that. Yeah, yeah, she but said, but but we're breaking. The they thing. said Florida is breaking up with y'all. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> don't come here. The state of Florida says you yeah, young Jody, dumb motherfuckers do not come here. They yeah, said, no, yeah, we but don't Jody, want you. Jody, Jody, but y'all did the same shit. It was the same shit going on no, with y'all. Right, not as bad no, as y'all. Not as no. bad as y'all, bro. Not seeing as, not bad seeing, um, uh, seeing 20,000 miglets in the streets destroying Florida was is a new thing, bro. Only time you would see us y'all destroy the city, shit back then. we would destroy y'all shit. shit back then. We would destroy like shit like in a riot like for that. a purpose. Y'all wasn't going on, on spring break rights. shit yeah. and destroying shit? No. Like, no. y'all wasn't doing that? No. I like y'all. Not on a high level. Bro, y'all you got, know, first of all, y'all got cameras and shit. Know, generally bro. speaking, no. Because in the 90s, y'all went doing then, that? No, no. Stop. Stop. I believe you're lying. Because that, that shit lying? did happen. Because it, it's, it's just a... You can't it was a say, teenager thing You can't then. say just it was a, a teenager group, thing a group of 10 people running amok is not the same in the night, a group of ten people running amok in Miami in '96 is not the same as twenty thousand motherfuckers doing it on purpose in Miami yeah. at the same time. Yeah, but y'all was y'all day. was doing it across the whole fucking world. Y'all was still doing it. That's not it. true. Y'all just didn't go. Right, it still that, was bro. going on. Who told you that? It lie? still was going yeah, on. It's a lie. Who told you that? I'm nobody told me to lie, nigga. I'm you just I'm just okay, saying. Okay, nobody lied. Because, okay, I'm not saying you're lying. No, Who told you that. That's no, not I'm true. not saying. No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. So, you're, I'm not saying so you made it up. So you saying, made it up. Now, where's he giving from? Yeah, no, so you made it up. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting so you made it up. It, Please don't say things it, you made up. I'm, I'm using it from logic. On what how, no, that, no, you're how making it up. Is, how kids and teenagers what's two plus two? are. Qui Gon, what's two plus two? Like Qui Gon, what is two plus two? Qui Gon, what is two plus two? That's logic. What you're saying is making it up. That's not logic. Teenagers, teenagers are like that, bro. That that's just what they do. That's just what they do. No matter See, what, you're making it up. You're that's not true. That. That's not true. You're making it up. The teenagers yes, saying yes, you're assuming. Teenagers that's you. Things the next you're level assuming. Though, if, if that's if what we're saying. saying like, like, like the things on, that bro. the things that you say if, teenagers if you're saying are doing. It's, it's less. It's less than twenty thousand back then for sure. But, I give you that, but y'all still was doing the same but, shit. But Qui Gon, no, we were not. Qui Gon, no, the we things that you guys are doing is way worse than the things. But that I want to, but I want to go, but I want to go to my next worse. point because I want to go to my next point. Yeah, this no, we can keep going. What about gonna get Philadelphia? Trapped. They destroyed Philadelphia, looted after all those the Super stores, Bowl. and they did that after they won the Super Bowl too because of social media. Yeah. Oh, I think y'all it'd be did fun a lot of. If I, I put something on social media, that, that girl, that up. girl who was uh, uh having the whole her whole crew uh, hitting them stores and stuff, bro, and she was posting that shit on social media, getting the views, getting those likes, getting everything in. Then she started crying and shit when she got caught up. Yeah, yeah, that's that's all for clickbait, bro. That's all for clicks. So y'all, so, y- so y'all didn't, so y'all didn't do that back then when the team. No, would win. nobody. First of y'all all, didn't, y'all didn't fuck up a city when the team would win back then. No. no, come on, bro. It's the ninety. No, come all right. On, I say this. I say this. Come though. on, I say this though. Y'all I give you. I, I say this. I say too, quite guy. When the Lakers won, downtown sometimes was messed up. I give you that. When the Lakers won Thank the game, you. When, downtown, when any when any city up. won, but when not as bad. Won. Not as That's bad. No, 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 no. Not as bad as y'all, bro. Y'all was freaking hitting stores that that people like people who hit licks, bro. Are thinking of a plan of how to hit a store. Let's take a look at this Y'all video looking here. at things and hitting the store right away. Where police swarmed the Del Amo Fashion Center, saying as many as a thousand kids were brawling and causing chaos. Things were so out of control, the city issued a warning to people to stay away from the mall, and officers from surrounding departments had to be called in to help. Police also confirmed yeah, tonight little someone kids, fired man. a gun. They look 12, 13, 14. Yeah, they 15, are little kids, bro. Those are little kids. Today, but no victims were found. 
The whole thing began unfolding around four this afternoon, but it took more than three hours to clear everyone out. How? It was just everybody just running, mm. going to the movie theater. Everybody was just jumping on top of people. It was just chaos. Just everyone was running up and down the AMC stairwell. Like it was like just Who mass is your like mom? chaos. So Jenna there is a manager at the BJ's restaurant who she says someone threw water on some of her employees. At some point they had to lock the doors, refusing to allow anyone else inside. But none of the other stores were evacuated. So far, there's no word. Whether so this right here is an example. This is the Delamo Mall out here in L.A., yeah. bro. The De Let me tell you about the Delamo Mall. The Delamo Mall was the mecca for nice shit. The yeah. white folks was there. Yeah, used yeah, to be. Yeah. Black folks didn't go over there and cut up. Because the police Torrance was on their job. They there. knew the you can't really scam there. and do shit over there. Yeah, 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 because yeah. it was like Major you cops. knew not to F up over there. You yep. could go over there, of course, mm -hmm. yeah. and be a regular citizen. Yep. But shit went down in the hood. You, yep. you might have some issues at the Crenshaw Mall. The Fox Hills. Swap meet. Yep. So the Fox Hills Mall, yep. but the Delamo Mall was relatively used to be a nice place. But now, since that shit happened just a few a few uh, months ago, he missed mm -hmm. just tonight. New rules tonight for teens at the Delamo Fashion Center in Torrance. They're required to be with an adult or leave the property by 3 p.m. Yeah, and we know yeah. how this happened. The new rule comes after two very rowdy and frightening nights when groups of teens swarm the mall, leading to some fights. KKL News reporter Joy Benedict is at the mall in Torrance. She's live right now with what customers and businesses think of this new requirement, Joy. Yeah, well, it's, it's a mixed opinion, guys. I mean, teens obviously are big business when it comes to shopping malls and plazas and shopping centers like this one. Here at Delamo, they you did just win. close. They officially Perfect. close at Thank 9 o'clock. On this side of the mall, by the Nordstrom's and other entrance, you don't see much security. But over on the other side the of the mall that Nordstrom's. you can't really see from here, on the back side where the movie theaters are, they have several security check-in points lined up, making sure that those who aren't underage don't come alone. It was a busy Friday night at Delamo Fashion Center as the new age restrictions didn't seem to diminish the crowd. I think that's <coughs> great because young kids, you know, you have to watch them sometimes. Starting that's this right. weekend, anyone under I the agree. age of 18 is required to be chaperoned here after 3 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Mm. It's part of the new youth supervision policy. Nothing. The new youth supervision policy. Anybody under the age of 18 after 3 p.m. has to be supervised by an adult. They're doing that at the Magic Johnson Theater, E-Man. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, Remember? yeah. Remember? Sure yeah. There's security yeah, guards yeah, that yeah, sit yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. I forgot about and that. And if you yeah, look young, bullshit, bro. we won't let you in the yeah. theater. Yeah, they, now, if you... I remember leaving school and going to the mall. You yeah. can't even do that no more, yeah. dog. No, nope. That was a spot to go to in the mall. Like, I'm about to go to but the mall and go to the city. Why you think that is, though? Why do you think that is? Not you bullshit, are running in there destroying. That wasn't a Ain't thing when we were growing up. We would cause some havoc after school, though. We would go in there, take but a not, water, not fading in the mall. Though. We wasn't fading in the mall like that, bro. We was fading outside the You'll mall. Take, no, I'm but not, I'm not in the mall. First of all, I'm not fading in the mall. I'm fading, fading outside the mall. Get out of here with that. You shouldn't be fading at all. Listen, I, I'm just saying this, bro. You're, who is the parents of these kids, bro, that's doing this? That's from y'all generation, right? e man e man Nah, it's yours. e man, man, e -man. I'm I got good kids. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's why right. email shit, right? So, so it, so it, so it leads on to that, right? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta start, you gotta start from where it begins to find a solution, right? Okay, yeah. John Bab, so, go fuck yourself. Fuck these kids. These kids are badass, punk ass kids. No, blame uh, the children. Right. What about that? Oh, no, sorry. you can't sorry. blame the children because because the the what is the average adult? Uh, what what's the what's what's when a a, a a adult can you know when they can get the uh full adult when a brain develops? Ain't it twenty five? Qui Gon, like twenty five, twenty eighteen, right? Qui Gon, what is the definition of character? Not eighteen. Twenty. I think it's twenty. What is the definition 21? of character, Qui Gon? Well, let's not guess and look uh, it up. Let's just look it up. Is doing the right thing when nobody is around. That's what character is. That's what the definition is, Jody. Look Mid it up. Is to it late twenties. So twenty. So when you twenty. Mid to late twenties. It says the brain mid finishes developing and maturing in the mid to late twenties. So we could say right? twenty five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So so if if that is the case, right? Mm -hmm. To blame a kid, I'm not saying I'm not saying you don't you don't if we're going to shoot someone, right? 
Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you don't, you don't, they shouldn't go to jail for that. I'm not saying right. that uh, kids shouldn't go to jail for going to steal a old woman's purse on a, uh, that's just, that's just mad in her uh, business. Right. But at the end of the day, that's why they, that's why when them type of things happen to those kids, we look at the parents first. Right. Because what are you right. doing? Because Jody, you're, you're a good father, right? You yeah, want to have your kid so. even in that position to even go do that. Your, your kid wouldn't be out there in LA or in, uh, whatever the place doing these riots because you know what's up right right i feel like you look at the the parents in y'all generation what happened to y'all yeah. from y'all not to pass on what y'all their parents taught them or what right. they taught right. them yeah and a lot of these kids are followers we, bro he's They're, right you know we are responsible for this for this generation for being uh such degenerates in a, in, a, in a, we are responsible for things like that those kids destroying that sheet like that is a product of us that's a product of what we uh, the parents are involved mm -hmm. they're culpable for what happened at those places miami beach all that but there's this unsung villain that's out there just guiding and floating and manipulating everybody it's the social media it's the internet the internet is targeting our kids like never before right you know because mm -hmm. we the millennials are not products of social media. No. Right? The first Correct. generation that is a product of social media, Keon, is this generation, Gen yes. Z. Correct. This yeah. is this is the social media generation. And with the social media generation, society is the worst it's ever been. This mm -hmm. is the worst generation ever, bro. I, I yeah. feel like you know what I feel like it's doing, Jody? It's exposing parents. Why you it, keep going back to doing, that's nigga? What doing I'm working. Mode. So it's the fact that if parent. I didn't go to work that's every day, you doing. wouldn't have no cell phone. So guess what? Society would be crap if this millennials didn't pay for your cell phone. Man. Imagine, imagine if you threw a phone in 15 year olds at the 90s. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, bro. Okay. It, imagine. It, 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 what do you it, say? It, it, imagine if we I'm had phones, E-Man, Instead of Tamagotchis and Gigapets, <laughs> we have. A throw phone. an iPhone in your hand. Got, we got a, an iPhone. An iPhone <laughs> so this iPhone has the capability to go onto Twitter and Instagram and all that. All of that. All of that. So basically, that. take everything in 2024, but put it in the 19, 1995. Only fans. I'll be working in a lab. Okay. All yeah. That. There would be our our generation would become more degenerate, but it would be less degenerate than this generation is. Well, this generation is more Because soft back then, anything. we grew up harder. We had stronger mentality. We yeah. had stronger guts. Yeah. We talked to people. We had social I feel skills. like it would be worse. No, 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 no. We had have no social, social skills. skills. A lot of the... That's why... There's a lot of singlehood. I looked up a stat that said more people... More, oh, my God. It was saying that Gen Z preferred to see no sex in movies. That's what That's the crazy. fuck, bro. They're not interested in seeing people make out. That's wild. They're not what's interested in seeing people what's have sex. That? That's wild. The what's reason is, what's wrong with that is because they are not comfortable seeing the opposite genders make out because they themselves have never made out. That's they wild. themselves don't have girlfriends or boyfriends. Singlehood is at an all-time high. That's wild. Yo, who, all do, who time. do you think? Who, what, all age, time. what age do you think is, is saying they don't want to see that? Your age. No, these are these are these are uh I don't think it's teens 20, and twenties. These are teens. I think and 20s. I think it's teens. I think it's mainly teens. They're teens and twenty year olds. People who could see rated R movies. They don't want to see that. I don't think I don't think they'd rather see a rated R movie. Should be watching that anyway. If a you're fourteen or fifteen, you could be. I'm not talking about that. that. I'm talking about rated R. Seventeen. You gotta be seventeen, 17 to watch a rated R. Up. Yep. You're a teenager. I know. I know. But 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 wouldn't they be saying that for the younger ages out there? No, it's not about young. These are grown or grown people. But doesn't it affect them? But don't it affect the younger ages? If we stop showing that, don't it affect the younger ages? That's what I'm saying. It don't affect that, no. the 14 and below. That's why we have a grading system. PG won't have sex. So they don't have to worry about ever seeing it. Yep. PG-13 really doesn't have sex. Or rated R stuff. We're talking about rated R, right? And, and PG-13, yeah. they simulate sex. Sometimes they simulate it. You'll see them lay down and you know kiss and go they and don't even the black, want that the black they don't want that that's whack and it's not uh, like not, uh, and that's not a bad thing right because like think of it this way sex is not it's a not a bad thing, thing not to, to not bad. want to, to not want to see sex because that's immoral it's graphic you're a child you shouldn't see that blah blah blah, blah. watching that in the first but place but we're talking about not wanting to see it because 
you don't identify with that. Right. Yeah. That doesn't mean anything to yeah. you as a human. See, it, that that's crazy to me because growing up as a teenager and, and a, you know, as an adult, whatever, bro, we grew up with shit like that. Even as kids, we saw stuff like that. They had it in Western movies. They had it in um, action movies, thriller movies. And the things that y'all have in y'all movies are just going like we don't even have action movies like that anymore or thrillers or and all that other shit. Y'all have this double, double weird shit horror. And I don't understand how that y'all because y'all are really sexually active a lot more so for, for them to say that they don't want sex or kissing in a movie is crazy as we're I'm looking at sure the you. article I'm right now sure. almost half of gen z viewers want less sex on screen a study finds annual ucla report finds that viewers between ages of 10 and 24 yes also want more shows and films about platonic connections oh wow friendships soft i want a friend not sex i'll be okay with just a friend Soft. less sex and more friendship old, that's the verdict of gen z on their preferences for u.s like, media a 10 11 12 13 14 year old should be wanting more friendships in, so what about a 16 and 24 year old according to the center's annual teens and screens report today's adolescents want less of the sex and trauma seen in shows like HBO's Euphoria and The Idol and more storylines reflecting lives like their own. It's, it's, Namely, more platonic relationships. Look either. at that. Quote, it says, quote, they want more lives like their own. Uh -uh. So Friend, what they're saying is they want to have something they can relate to. Yes. They feel like they can't relate to it. I can't get yes. up and talk to a girl. I can't get up and do this. So you know what? I can't relate to that. This is I not have an issue with me. this whole article. Why the fuck are you using Euphoria and the Idol with the ages of the 10-year-olds and the 20 year olds Because they have sex. That's right, why. Right, right. Like, why are you using those two particular shows for a teen engage for engagement? Those two particular I don't think fucking that's, shows. I don't think this is bad. I don't think nothing what you're saying is bad. That's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. Why is it not a bad thing? This, 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 purity, this is some bullshit yeah. purity test. I don't know what you're doing. Qui-Gon doesn't think it's a bad thing. That's a problem. Get, he, no, we we, so, we show him a statistic, and you don't think it's a bad thing. Why do you not think it's a bad thing, qui -Gon? Because if you go ask the average 18-year-old right now, they're going to say, I don't care. That This is just a this is just a Why would they say that? Because this is a random survey that probably went to a group of people, bro. And then well, a let's mall go to or some it. shit. Let's go right now. It was they surveyed one thousand five hundred people between the ages of ten to twenty four, and they found that the people who are ages thirteen to twenty four, which was fifty one percent, fifty one percent of people thirteen years old to twenty four said they wanted to see more platonic friendships rather than romantic. Nigga, ones. that's fifty one percent. That's half and half. And you wonder why I say fuck these kids. Y'all don't give that's a fuck about your opinion. Half. That's half and half. half. And half. That's half. Yes, that's half. That's bad. If half the no, people died, not. if half the that's people died it. tomorrow, is that bad? That's half and half. That it's bad. How are you comparing that to this? No. How are you comparing that to this? Fifty percent could be detrimental. This is detrimental. If you Bro. go to if you go to my age group when we were coming up and ask how many y'all want to see some titties? Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Remember the three the three the three titties. The we were, we the couldn't wait titties. to see some titties. titties. Nigga, three titties. Not we one, not wait to see titties. Titties. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Right. Look at that bush. That's why I already know. Hey, Jody, that's, that's, she got a bush. Hey. Bush, that's why, bro, she got a bush. Jody, hey. You know what's crazy, Jody? That's why you got a nigga named R. Kelly out here. Oh, That's why you got up, these motherfuckers. Hey, at least he got his music. Do with one has nothing to do with the other. At least he got music. One sick man. They get exposed to sex at a young age. Movies. And that is uh, not movies thing. are not. Ex first of all, it's not we a had, good so thing first of all, we, we, had, we, had, we had we had a rule. We had a rule back then. Parenting too. We had a rule back to parenting. If you have a question, put it in the chat, guys. We had a rule back then. Live, make it. You cannot see a rated R movie at you at a certain age. They had it. They had a rating. They was not allowing kids to see a certain movie. Get ready the, to at, snipe at, them. Usually now, when they say that, they're a troll. Get ready. Now, in those type of movies, those movies are supposed to be for adults or older. For them to take this shit out because th they worried about a 13-year-old and a 16-year-old is a problem for me because they shouldn't be watching the movie in the first place. They are still a kid. They should be watching only when they 18. It says 18 or older. Was Y'all was watching shit back then. Both of the generations. Hey, watching make shit your argument age. without pointing to us. We're talking about your generation. Don't point with no. We we're did. talking. No, 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 no. We're comparing. It, it is. Why is this society failing Wait, more than the other society? 
Our society is way I different. I had the moderators society, ready, though, man. Oh, but I didn't even see it. was dumb. Our society is way different compared That's why I'm bringing that up, bro. And this is where I come again that your society. That, that you y'all was seeing titties at a younger are, age, and y'all very cool soft. With it and y'all like it. And we don't apologize. But just because we saw it, just because we saw it, does not mean like, oh snap, I see street. some titties. Gotta... Hey, I'm about to go see some titties for real. No, it was just a freaking movie. We enjoyed what we saw. It was a movie. So, so y'all telling me a kid seeing some titties at 10 years old won't a kid, affect them a 10 year old should not be watching titties, seeing titties at 10 year old. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. So, what I'll say this though, quite God, I'll say this. Back in the but day, bro, kids didn't have to see about. titties at the theaters. Kid could see titties in fucking porn when they saw it on the TV. But, Before um, they had the, the premium that's bullshit. That's not good either. That's not good That's either. not. But I'm saying they, they saw that. In the, not in good either. That, no. The thing is, for y'all to say, like, I, I can't relate to this, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. Qui-Gon, what's your but point, bro? Because we're getting lost. I don't think. Y'all, yeah, this nigga Jody took it there. I didn't even take it there. So bring us back, bro. I'm, shit, hold on. Nigga. I'm Anyways. showing you the relevance in how people in Gen Z are having less intercommunication with each wow. other. They're having less sex, less boyfriend and girlfriends. The singledom is high. A lot of y'all are single, don't have boyfriends or girlfriends. A lot of you guys are shooting up schools. A lot of you guys are offing yourselves, unaliving yourselves. All of these are at the highs. Why do you think that that is? That is a really big problem. That's all I'm saying. First of all, I think, I think the evolution of dating culture has got better. How so? With us. How swiping left got better? I believe. How is, how is swiping left, running it, get to someone's door and having sex with them, a better relationship, sex life? I believe my generation is more open-minded and inclusive when it comes to dating and relationships. I just hit you with yeah, Tinder, I, and, which and is and a young, degenerate and, site. Tinder is an app where you swipe left or right, then you go have sex. Tell me how that's better than hi, how you doing? My name is Charlie. Are you a free this Last day? Name Wilson. Just wondering if I could take you out. It, show you it, a it's, good it's time. Just, wait, wait, wait. I got to invite you to on. my house. Hey, by the way, here's my number. Girl, you can call me. Mm -hmm. And don't forget that my name it's is just on the app. <laughs> it's just on the app. It's just it's just Come on the app yo. when you're texting a girl. It's just on the app talk to girls, girl. bro. That's all that shit is. Yes, we had a holiday. Do you think do you think do you think it's wrong because uh you don't you're not talking to them like personally you don't walk up to them on the street is that why it's wrong for you no that's not why it's wrong it's the fact that people are that's scared wrong, to man. do it they're terrified to do it that's what's wrong you could choose not to go approach somebody on the street and say hi how you doing it's very nerve-wracking you get real nervous when you see somebody mm, playing like that rejection and you like them that rejection is real yeah, rejection but is that real. fear of rejection is yeah. at all-time highs yeah. it's so scary for people to approach the opposite sex and ask them on a date that they shake they convulse they get stressed out they throw up they just chose they choose not to try yeah, it's easier it's easier to text somebody and put it on social Quite media. That, okay. What do y'all hey, yo, I, I think you're cute. I I, I, hey, my I name could. is blah, blah, I blah. Could. And I think you cute. I definitely would like to get to know I you. I I Quite what was the last party you've been to, my nigga? Compared to, you I'm pretty sure. Her, I could. clipping down her photos. I'm pretty sure all your parties that y'all go to, y'all go to the party, y'all stand at the corner, y'all text. Nobody dance at parties no more. Y'all don't no, get down no more. Chicago. Nobody do that shit no not more. Y'all stand in the corner we, text we and y'all just we, go across. Uh nigga, nigga, we party in Chicago. Stop. I mean, I, I, but, I'll say this though. But this I'm saying sad. this. But I'm saying this, Jody. Like, I give you that point that that is a a, a wrong like tender coming in, bro. And other yes. these other apps. You've never been to a like, party at script. Yeah. It is. It it is probably wrong for that. But I'm saying. The good things out of outside of the tender, the um the the young adults being more supportive of uh Yeah, that is Eisen. That's General Eisen. That's a five hundred dollar club tap, my bad. Yeah, I just wanna let somebody know. Go ahead, go ahead. But I'm saying the young adults uh are more likely to support, you know, inter in, in my generation, interracial marriages, right? Right. That's more of a thing nowadays, and that's a great thing because back then it was it was more of off of uh, a black man can't get with a white woman or a, a Mexican can't get with a black man, and and if they not our, really not, loved not each year. other, not, not and ours, if they so. loved each other, and if they loved each other, they would look at them weird, right? Mm -hmm. They went, they would look at them weird, and everybody would treat them different, even though they truly love each other, even though they should get with each other. In right. our generation, we're more we're more cool with that, bro, and I feel like that it matters more the more even more than that tinder You're, shit because at least it's open at least we're more open to that and we're we're cool with that instead of like forcing more open to not having now. sex and having a relationship 
Well, he's talking about people falling in love. On no, I know. I'm talking show, about real love. I'm talking about real love. Yeah, like you like you guys I are more open shit. to not falling in love and having a foundational relationship, physical relationship. No, I'm talking. How- I'm talking about it's it's still people out there that still in our generation get with a woman off of the internet, just meeting her in public. Yes. No, it's still it's it's still yeah it's still, it is yeah yeah people, people get married generation. people get married off the internet. But it's more, yeah, but, yeah. It's, but it's but it's but majority of us. But it's majority of us are on Tinder. I will give you that. And, you call and that true love? Maybe it's a, and maybe it is a bad thing. If you find if you find real love, you on call Tinder, that true love. And if you find real love on Tinder, and y'all meet each other, and y'all actually bond or whatever, God. and right. y'all I just have a simple out. question. Yes. Quite God, it is true yes, love. True love. Yes. So I have, point, I have a follow up question. Love. I have a follow up question. I grew up. My grandparents were married for like sixty years. Do you think this generation is going to have a generation of kids after us that do you think you're going to be married to somebody for almost 20, 40 years? Do you think this generation is capable of being married okay. in solo to somebody for over 40 years? Do you think it's yes, even we possible? Al- yes, we will always be. Now I got a question for you. Keon, That's crazy as Keon, hell. Do you no. see yourself get, Keon, do you see yourself getting married for Fuck 20 no. years with a woman? I don't make enough money. All right, then. What are we talking about? Wait, what did you say? It, 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 fuck no. That's a contract. I don't make enough money. Say that again. What was the question? Do you ask me, do you see Do you see me getting married? Oh, okay. Oh, fuck no. No. That's a contract. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, it's, it, that's, no. all, that's all opinion, that's all opinion you don't based think you make on enough the money type of person. Married. If I get married, it will be a financial incentive for me to get married. And that's me keeping it real. There will never be a financial incentive for a man to get yeah. married. If I find somebody richer than me and she says, oh, yeah, I'll take that deal. That's not happening. I know that, but I, a nigga can hope. So basically he's just saying you're not going to get married then. Okay, then, nigga, so what All are right, you talking there, about? There, there, there are no financial <laughs> incentives to men for getting married. Yes, unless the bitch There are rich. only financial yeah. incentives Only if I find women. me a Paris Hilton. Only Paris. For women. Paris. Only Paris. the women. <laughs> only the women. That's, oh, that's it. It's just women. They are the only one who are financially incentivized to get married, bro. And that's why less of them are getting married. No. But that's something else. Uh, I'm glad that you admitted that Tinder is a problem. And, mo- and most of Gen Z are having relationships from the internet than actually going out in person and saying hello to someone in, in the streets. And that is a sign of the times. Quite gone. That's but not I, a good I thing. Yeah. yeah, people that's don't know not, how to hold conversations even more either, bro. Like... Before you can actually hold a conversation with people, people I've seen people in restaurants literally texting each other. And they're sitting at the chair. Or parties. Each other. You can't, people don't know how to social, like communicate anymore. Communication is a huge thing. You see all these people talk about, I love to communicate, but they don't know how. That's bad. I mean, from the corniest shit, nigga, look at a girl, see a girl cry. Hey, hey, ski, hey, hey, hey. Nigga dodging traffic, hey. Run across the street. Nigga cry, run back. Did so, you get the number? So someone nah, said, nigga, I didn't get the number. Somebody said that all of the problems that I'm talking about are due to the advancements of technology. What are your thoughts on that, uh, Keon? No, because those are applications. If you, if, if, that's like saying a nigga that knows how to count, if he have a calculator, does that stop him from knowing math? No, we just use that. Very good No, point. that's an application, so no. Very good point. We, that is so no we're not a product of the technology it's how we apply the technology and how we utilize in everyday life so i don't care that if i get a job at mcdonald's right now i no longer have to put in 23.74 minus this to get the change Mm -hmm. right right now you could just put in big mac fries and it calculates for you yeah yeah, yeah. even though that's easier i will never lose the ability Mm -hmm. to count the change myself correct this machine if that was was your foundation you gotta do it hands on if that machine breaks i can still take drive through i can see how much a big mac is 359 our tax is 9.75 percent i will come with the with the order of that i will say this is how much you owe Mm -hmm. i will take your money and give you your change business will not stop just because the computer goes down guess what it's stopping now. <laughs> if that register goes down, you, you, McDonald's is closed <laughs> because they do not factor in count. humans using their own brains. Mm-hmm. Hold on, I got, I had, I had, a, I had an idea, right, of the tender stuff. I do give you that that it it, it has its flaws, right? But at the same time, it does. Don't, don't help. pivot. And answer it, that question. At the first. same time, at the same time, it do help out in sales out you here. You got to answer that question. Men. No. Uh, He's gonna deviate. It, it does. You're deviating. Did, did you're, what you're, we you're say, deviating. Did what we say just made sense though? That's for Quentin who was in the chat. The, but but what we said made the, sense to you, Qui Gon? Uh, yes, yeah, the humans. It's us. Okay. Okay. So you're so you're not blaming technology. 
um technology has it's has it's, it has a it has a it has a role in it but right, it does. it's us that shoots the gun you feel me yeah you, you can go. make a gun Nate. correct here's what no, i'm saying we gotta shoot it. when ai takes over the world like skynet and relationships are all the way gone when that sex robot becomes available when i could just get a sex robot they'll that, do whatever that looks the, like yeah. jessica they'll do whatever the top to bottom <laughs> and she'll do whatever the freak i say <laughs> it's one. over for you yeah. i'm going and i'm never bad i'll take her robot. on dates i'll take i'll treat hey, her better hey, than hey, i ever treat a human especially you got a kid already oh you didn't you got a lady i don't got it it's right, over bro. for y'all it's, it's done it's done <laughs> and the ones who are going to suffer the most are going to be the women mm -hmm. you know yeah, some a, women are going to get a nice thing. man but they're not going to like that fake sheep nope but, I, not gonna but like, i'm gonna but I'm we gonna are hit, i'm gonna hit jody what you got to, what you got to say about that what i just said about it helping uh intel <laughs> men out here that's getting on tinder and that don't got that never had it right even the guys in the 90s that never had it because right. there's guys that never had it. Like, y'all yeah, yeah, act yeah. like everybody had it. No. No, no. The, no there was niggas out there that didn't have game. Yes. Yeah, and they I couldn't walk through and talk, right? So that's yeah, why. Yeah, there's there's people in the made. studio that don't have game right now. Oh, fuck. Uh, I ain't saying that. Uh, whatever. Oh, fuck. Fuck. What's y'all pickup lines? <laughs> so what's your pickup line? My, my, my pickup line is talking. just like, bro. I, I, I'm just fucking with I'm you. I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm just just fucking with you, my nigga. But I, I, I'm just saying, like, it does. Uh, that eye. <laughs> that eye. Oh, fuck. My fault, you man. But, uh, nah, bro, I ain't even tripping. I ain't tripping off this clown. Uh, so. But, Jody, what do you, what do you gotta, what do you gotta say about that, though? What do I have to say about man? people who didn't have sauce in the 90s versus so, no have, having no sauce today? You're right. But the difference, in my opinion, that, that incel who didn't have sauce in the 90s was still developed into a functioning human being who contributes to the society that he lives in. Even the one no that is a, a degenerate who don't get none in this day will probably put a bullet in his brain or blow up a, a hospital or wreck a school or become probably. a SA victim or uh, something worse. That's the big difference. Probably. The way probably, it affects that person in my era will affect this person in your era in two different ways. Yep. Probably, probably right. But Look, they took the F word from us. They took the F word from us. They took the P word from us. They took we we I mean they took the C word from us. I the can't walk up being you stupid C word. I can't even say that anymore. Or we'll get canceled. Bro, you remember back? We held white people accountable when they said the N word. Mm -hmm. When the Mexicans said the N word around, it was a problem. It was on their head. It was a problem. When the Mexican went, back when he was growing up, you know him, man. They oh yeah, I know. This the is yeah. You could say the N word in the nineties. No, you could not. And be Mexican. No, nah, you hey, watch your mouth, homie. No, you Even in the early two thousands, watch no, your you mouth. No, you could not. Watch your mouth. You got slapped. Now, not even the Samoans. Mexicans say the, the N word as much it. as blacks, and no one holds them accountable because no one gives. Who a gave them the permission? I don't know who gave that. It just happened. Uh, social they media. They, they I remember. I seen. I remember. I seen a clip where a Mexican was like, "Yeah, my name, my my dick," and the dude, black dude, was like, "What you doing?" You ain't black. He said, no, I'm Mexican. Exactly. It's cool. And they were like, oh, okay. Gosh, that was that millions of views. But our, our our generation didn't let that crack. It's probably his generation that probably let that crack off. No, I, I feel like it's dependent on the person. How old are you again? Like the years in. That's what it changed. How old are you again? 24. How old are you again? 24. I'm 32. So, How old are you again? Oh, he's 32. 45. Nah, I, 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 was trying to, I was trying to say this stuff <laughs> on the incels on how they, on, on how some incel people actually find other incel people and actually get together on the internet, which I think that's a good thing that happens on Tinder, what that we, I will show love to. I would, say, I would give you this. Gen Z is way more informed than we were. Yeah, they're, completely. They're, they're completely more informed, informed than we yeah. were. Which yeah. could be a good and a bad thing. Yeah. I think that kids, this day, and, uh, the average thirteen-year-old knows as much as the average seventeen or eighteen-year-old when we were growing up. But, but the they know a little bit way, way, too, way too. Some of them are way, the thing is, the way too much. Even way, with way, that, way know, but wait, oh, hold on, please let me get, let me holler at this guy. When you heard me say the average thirteen-year-old knows as much as the average seventeen or eighteen-year-old back then, what did that mean to you? I mean, like I said, it means to me that they know a lot more than what we what we knew. What I mean, they. They're, so then, why they're do you say why do you say that in response to me saying that? I'm just curious. Here's how it went: the exactly. average 13 year old now knows as much or more than the average 17 or 18 year old back when we was growing up. 
Yeah, man, because they know way too much. That, that, them, them, them ones now, they know way too much. <laughs> it's, hot. <laughs> it's hot today. Man, it's hot. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's hot, man, yeah, 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 no, it's hot now, too. Bro. It's not like I'm talking to you. It's like it's like it's like you're you're just. Because I was already thinking that myself. Hey, we're already thinking of your response, and you didn't hear what I said. You cool, you cool, you man. You cool, you man. So what I'm saying. So set the stage, no lie. I agree with I agree with what you're saying. Is that is that I agree with what you're saying. Yeah, but yeah, no, it's not about that, bro. It's like. You gotta listen. Yeah, man, it's I'm hot too. I'm listening to you, bro. I'm hearing what you're saying. You, 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 you hear me, but you ain't listening. See how your generation oh, right, treat right. you, my nigga? Yeah. See how your generation treat you, bro? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you know what it is, bro? Yeah, bro. It's, it is. Yeah, it's wild. God, oh, damn, NPC response. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. said NPC It's like I wasn't talking to somebody. <laughs> like, did you hear me? That's like me saying, man, <laughs> these black women are beautiful, bro. I love everything about them. Yeah, they're black so women they're beautiful. They ass is fat. Get on the back. Get on the back. Get on the back. Man, <laughs> get on the back. No, it, ain't, it ain't worth it. Nah, All right, so. so he says that Tinder is actually helping, you know, you know, they're they're making it happen. Yeah, like uh, a low percentage, though. I'm just saying. I low percentage. It. Okay. I mean, it's, I it's, a lot of, it's a lot of fools who, it, I mean, if they, they're the real ones, but it's, it's a lot of fools who actually find their wives and queens off of these in off the internet i mean there's people who uh what is it um uh christian mingle and all the rest of them other <laughs> sites or whatever they, bro. <laughs> wait, wait, they be wait, fighting, wait, wait. They be fighting hey, their wives you don't got to be lonely that farm is only Hey, why, why do they call it farmers only why they just say <laughs> no niggas <laughs> no niggas no, they, hey, they got they got a Hey, you, you know what? Quite God, you win. Y'all are the you funniest generation. Y'all are the most you desperate ass generation. Y'all can't you talk to me, no bro. bitches. Y'all yeah. gotta go to a country. Hey, listen, more. I don't wanna <laughs> knock you guys, right? Oh, you you can, I, I don't wanna knock you guys because oh. this Tinder Instagram, you know, when you get a girl you holler at a girl in the streets when she says, yeah. What's your Instagram? That's a slight to me. Yeah, I heard yeah. that. that was I weird. take that as a slight. If Not you, your number. If you holler at somebody and she yeah. says, "What's your Instagram?" <laughs> what's your snap? I, I don't want that. Or what's your snap? I, I don't want <laughs> that. You with that. So, but That's a good. lot of dudes, a lot of these young dudes are like, for sure. Yeah. They'll take the Instagram. They'll yeah. take that social media and think that they did something. Yeah. Because that's kind of what it is well, that was now. Equivalent to the yeah. 90s. But that's like. That's like not get. That's not a phone number. That's yeah. not nothing. Let me get your chirp. Yeah. Let me get your aim. Let me get your kick. But I see why people do it. I see why people want to give you their Instagram because they want to show it's you. Safer. Oh, you see me? All right, let me mm -hmm. go to my Instagram so you can see the artificial me and you'll like me more. Yeah, that's that, mm -hmm. that's artificial. If you get your number, mm -hmm. that's personal. I don't want you to call me on the phone and talk to me in the real time and you see that I'm nervous or what I'm talking about, what my background is like, but I will give you my Instagram so you can look at the page that I want y'all to see. DM this that. fake life. Let me show you this phone. fake yeah, life yeah. of me at the beach with all these girls in bikinis because that's what we always do. Yep. That And put it in a collage mm. and me at this restaurant with all this shit with this in front of this Mercedes at this bar with a GJ behind me like I live a really hot life. See that don't call me. Yep. Well, that's bullshit. That's wild. It's wild, but mm. that's the world we live in. It's wild. You got. No, I, I, I think I, like that. Some people who don't. That's I also weird. think that the. I also think that we more like we more acceptable in the LGBTQ plus community. Oh yeah, with that's that. for sure. That's and for sure. Them, and them kind of love. And, and like do, more do than ever, no, y'all softer. Think? What do the we LGBT feel about that? More than ever. The, alpha, the, the, the gays that I went to high school with are a lot tougher than y'all motherfuckers now. Facts, oh, y'all was not even close because y'all was bullying. Them. No, but but see, but, but, but they didn't arm themselves. Yeah. But they didn't arm themselves. To they were tougher. Y'all had to they were tougher. Them up. Well, because hey, I went to school with a boy named Emir. We all knew Emir was a punk. But the thing about Emir, when you said Emir's name. Oh, y'all talk about me? Hi, sit right next to your ass. And you have, hey, when you talk about me? Shit like that? Oh, niggas in, oh, okay, you know what? Nah, leave that nigga alone. Don't even call his ass over here. Not so many, they I'm took the punches. They took the abuse. Y'all motherfreakers, as soon as you say something negative, my anxiety's bad, I got a headache. Oh, shoot, I got to talk to the counselor. Oh, dang, I'm off myself on Tuesday. You didn't kick out all the kids. Nigga, you didn't kick, everybody can't yep. talk to you. You got special privilege. Nobody can talk to you. No, people got to talk to you certain day. Where's, where's the equality in that? 
That's no, I'm point. not saying. I know. I know. No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't say that. I said we but that's are more the reality open to their of relationship. your generation. Well, let's hear I'm them out, though. We, I feel like we're not hearing keep, uh, quite on. enough. Because just, like, I, just I'm over talking you. I'm sorry, Eman. We'll, uh, we're all over talking you, bro. So go ahead and get your sheet off. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. I'm just saying with uh, the LGBTQ community, like I know Keon just tried to flip it or whatever, but I'm saying like it's it more. Successful. It's more that lesbians that can actually be in open relationships rather than caring about what the fuck somebody has to say, because we don't we don't do that now because it's more inclusive. It's more like yeah, it's more opening because now it's not we're progressive. That's the thing. We're progressive yeah, more than that. more than y'all was. So that's I, not a bad thing. That progressing is never a bad thing. I, I agree that y'all are a lot more um, open with uh, LGBTQ yeah. and all our other numbers and all other weird shit that's out here more than we was. We we didn't accept none of that shit at all. Even if it was yeah, and there, it's cool. we didn't accept it. We didn't we didn't accept at mm -hmm. all. You now if you talk about anyone LGBTQ, you could get canceled, you can get fired, you can get all this other weird shit or whatever that's going on, man. And we didn't have to worry about that like the most you got to do right now. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's it's bad thing. It's flaws it's flaws that always come with shit. Just like y'all generation, it's flaws that came with y'all shit. But it's in this fall it's not, it, our, but shit, our right? shit wasn't as bad as y'all's is right now. Y'all's was way worse than what ours was. Bro, it was it was gay people that was killing themselves back then more than now. That's not it true. Was. Not really. That's not true. No, that's it was not gay not people really. more harm. Suicide than rates than are though. higher now no, than no, they were yeah, back then. They're, 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 they're not they're, even close. They're doing it now. Not, really. not even close. I, and and what's crazy? I, I, I truly, it's more accepted to be trans, pan, bi, all that. But yet they're still killing their shit. So what's the so how bad was it in the 90s and the mm -hmm. early 2000s for y'all? You could you're out in the open, living your life, but you're still offing yourself. Mm -hmm. That lets you know that there's a mental condition going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah. what that means. Yeah. For it was both. a lot of it was it was a lot of it was a lot of uh gay people in the closet back then that that ended that never came out and never was they self. See, and couldn't the be they self cuz they were been judged. Yeah. Interesting. The difference between that okay. though is like when you hear about like for for me would you rather when we heard about gays it was mostly like in jail it wasn't outside it was like are you gonna go to jail bro you're gonna get you gonna get raped or you gonna go you're gonna be gay after yeah, a while it became a totally different story of, of how society changed you're, you're, society society you're not a different it, be, it became a you're different very, way of it but then, you're bro. but you're a homophobe though so it's kind of Shout hearing, out to you hearing from you that. say Appreciate that it. like hearing you talk you can't really talk too much in this conversation about that because you're a homophobic person so it's like you're the the toxic part of why a lot of them don't like heterosexual men like white people talking about how to fix nigga problems yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah shout out to elber who dropped another 32 on it shout out to you my dude i appreciate you he says qui-gon is somewhat right on progressing but just because something is progressing doesn't mean it's going in the right direction interesting because they call it progressive that's the term mm -hmm. oh lgbtq this black people more jobs more people of color that's called progress mm -hmm. but that doesn't necessarily mean the right direction mm -hmm. affirmative action was progress too and right. some people don't believe in affirmative action oh, yeah but, but let me let me Regardless, ask you this bro. Let's, let, there are people let me ask still you this. in the closet right now as we speak that they don't have to be and they're still in the closet they still lock themselves up and still keep hiding from yeah, but it's more that's closet. out now than ever Mm. Is it? It is. I'll, let me ask you this. Looking at the way society is now with inclusion, inclusion, yeah. more Asians, more Hispanics, more blacks in movies, more mm -hmm. LGBTQ in movies, more, oh, don't give me the best director. Give me the right color director. Oh, mm -hmm. let's pass up on this white director, even though he's the best. I don't want Christopher Nolan. I want Tashina <laughs> Arnold. <laughs> Kim, Kim How Fields. has that worked for us as a society? Is that helping us or is that regressing us as a people by coming out in the open? How do you think that that help us help our society? Do you think our, we're a better society or you think that we're worse? Quite gone. I think that uh, with the movie shit, we're getting worse quality, right? Mm -hmm. So, so you gotta be honest, and you gotta say, "What about yeah, the workplace?" For the now, for the workplace, mm -hmm. um, I feel like that's better for the workplace to have that. 
to have because more we, girl bosses. Because, because the way they got treated, that. because the way they got treated back then, bro, they they couldn't they couldn't reach a certain even level of a floor back then because there were was a woman, right? Like that was crazy, <laughs> like that's crazy. Hire these women, get them in there, bro. I don't care what that <laughs> calls, get them in there. Like that that's crazy to treat a human being, like like and and they got to make up for it, right? But they got to do it the right way, okay. which I do agree. They got to do it now, the right way. They got to get not, the right. You're not wrong there. for saying what you said. So that means you don't mind having a woman leader. You don't mind having a woman president. You no. don't mind having a woman CEO. You're okay with a woman yeah. leading the free world. Long as it's the right woman. Mm. Right, the right woman. A woman. Just as long as it's the yeah. right woman. What is a woman? As long as is, it's the is right there, woman. Is there a difference between men and women to you? Uh, mm, what do you mean by that? Do gender roles exist? Is there a difference between being a woman and a man? Yeah. You see, the simple fact that you had to ask me what I mean by that is a testament to how trash our society is. Because you got a question that should, that's even a yes. thought. For, what do you, no, mean, what, you mean? You in mean. what way do you mean? Because you could have kept. Because, because you been standing he, he, he in, probably, in a different cause, way. Because to be honest, what could've is a woman? In a different way. Now, now, just asking now we're having what that nigga What is a woman? What, what is a woman now? You know, what is what way. identifies you as a woman? Because it's we, it's kind of confusing. It's changed. Qui Gon, where do you feel more comfortable there is living? A, there is a, there is a, there is Qui -Gon, a different. You, you have say? two houses. You have two houses. One built 100 percent by a man. One built 100 percent by a woman. They both cost the same. Which one do you feel more comfortable living in? Depending on the what, how, which just, one just knows the question about honestly. building shit more. Just, just answer the question honestly. Who, it's okay. Now let me, let me ask you a question. Which one knows how to build it better? They both are equally qualified. One's a man. One's a woman. I think both equally qualified. I, I would choose the woman because the woman don't get opportunities. If she could do the same thing as him, let me get the woman. <laughs> <laughs> if she can, if she can build the same building as the same, <laughs> let her do it. Why God, that's a lie, but okay, bro. That's why it's not a lie. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. You believe that? It's not a lie. You believe that? I believe that. It's not a lie. I can't knock you for that. That's your opinion, bro. I'm not going to call him a liar. It's not a lie. I I don't, I to, Jody's not calling you a liar. I am. I'm not I don't calling believe you a liar either, bro. Nigga, so, you, so you think he's lying? I think he's full of shit. That's what I'm telling you. I think he's full of shit. Nigga, nigga, if there's two houses, nigga, they all, they both look the same. Well, but what's the difference between this one and this one? And don't think, Nick, oh, oh, this one was built. By Rachel Waquan Sanchez. Who this one was built by? Robert Brickshire the third. How much do they cost? They both cost the same. You're picking Robert Brickshire the third house that you're living in. Stop lying to yourself, bro. Let me say, no, let me say something. Go ahead, Quagga. Oh yeah, Amanda don't give a fuck about a about a woman moving forward and in, in, in fucking business for to make build houses and no and don't know the fucking uh the the um i i, I would want to say the uh the blueprint the equality that's mm -hmm. going forward with that and you want to just go with a man and be misogynistic with it then right. for sure you're going to choose the man but a, a smarter person that that knows more about what's going on in life for sure I choose that woman long as it's the same fucking building as the man and it's the equal it, it's equal that's what right. all i'm saying I get you. you have a problem with that? Yes. Who who can punch in a hammer better, a man or a woman? Hammer and a nail. A man, because they're stronger. Okay. So, whose foundation of the home do you trust? The woman's or the man's? So you're talking, about, that you're talking about a, a home yes. that so was actually built, built with their hands. Yes. Okay. Man and woman. Ask it again, then. Which one are you choosing? You just told me, right? Previously. How many times do I have to fucking say a this? Woman, really? you just told me previously. That Who are you? Okay. A woman a woman building that is the same fucking building and it looks the same. Right. And she did the same shit. So I I'm gonna said, choose what, the woman. So I'm where do you feel more comfortable laying your head at night with you your the family? Woman. So you choose the woman. You still choose the woman. I still choose the woman. Okay. If she fits it, if she does the job right. I don't believe you. I think you're full of shit. I choose the man, Jody. What do you choose, uh, E-Man? Uh, Same scenario. A woman built this house from scratch, a man built the house from scratch. Where do you feel more comfortable laying your head at night? They both cost the same. 
I'll probably go with the man. You're honest. Jody. Huh? <laughs> Where would you lay your, your family's no head porque, at night? No se habla inglés, my friend. <laughs> I know. I, uh, Superman no se know here right now. Puedes casa. Puedes la casa. familia. Puedes casa la Fami familia. Familia, casa, house, family, me family, e c. <laughs> uh, Qui Gon, uh, 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 do you do you believe that your generation is in trouble? Uh, nah, I don't feel like we're in trouble. I don't feel like we're in trouble, and I do have reasons feel, why I don't feel like we're in trouble. Do you feel like the millennial generation is more of a detrimental generation than the Gen Z generation? Uh, to be honest, no, because I feel like we went through more shit than they are going to go through. Just like y'all did. It was, it was, y'all went through more shit than us. Y'all did. <laughs> Thank you, Xavier. Payne. Do you believe that... Okay, so... <laughs> You believe that Gen Z is not in trouble. Sense. Do you believe the generation after your generation is in trouble? No, because I think they will learn from us. I think that's a study, like that's a fact that okay. every generation learns from the previous generation. Nah. Rather, it's, rather it's for better or for worse sometimes, but they do learn. All right. Well, my man Marilyn's finally says, what's up, Jody? What's up, Keon? What's up? Qui Gon, what's up, E Man? So, loving uh, the stream so far. This combo, loving the stream and the combo so far. While I'm enjoying Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, and don't worry, I'm in the lab with a Jeopardy. Ha 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 ha! Hashtag get ready. He's getting ready to wreck our shit. Please do not make a hip hop rap based trivia. That's all I'm asking, bro. All right, so I don't have anything else to say on this matter. I'm satisfied that Qui Gon is satisfied with where he's yeah, at. Yeah, he his points, man. I feel like I put all of my stuff out there. I'm showing him the suicide rates. We've shown him that they don't want to be in movie. They don't even want to see sex in movies. They rather have movie. platonic friends. We're talking about friend zone. We're talking about men and women. More men and women being in the friend zone. This is okay for him. We're talking about the way that we see school shootings. Massive school shootings, which was never a thing. Columbine was a world mind blow for the United States. Because when Columbine happened, what the heck is this? First time we've ever seen it. This is bad. And then nothing again, right? Mm -hmm. But until then, he has more of those. We have school shootings like blue moons, like like full moons. Yeah, we haven't had. We're used like to them now. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't factor that in. He doesn't think that that's detrimental. So with all that being said, after coming through all of this, I don't, I, there's, there's no, I can't convince him. I can't, I can't expect him to understand. No. I Which do, also I do why have, I believe I do, I do, Gen Z I do is in have, trouble because of I do have points that I didn't today. get to. I do oh, have we, points we that I didn't get to. Get to him oh yeah, time. no, yeah. Go ahead and get to your points, brother. I, I'm done uh, convincing you, but if you want to get it off, go ahead and get it off. Yeah. And this, this point is about, uh. Achievements. I mean, not achievements, but and then advancements in the gender equality. What we was talking about, right? Sure, sure. Right. Uh, uh, the new generation has witnessed significant strides in gender equality and policies, leading to greater protection of women' rights in areas such as workplace, like what we was talking about, right? Discrimination and gender-based violence, because a lot of gender-based violence did happen back then. And I feel like now it's more safer in a workplace for women, right? From back then. Uh, for example, what the is safe? Me what is safer? Uh, I mean, safer from men doing a lot like of not, hostile not, acts you, in the workplace. You mean Rape. like, hey, you smell good. Um, Your dress yeah, is nice. You have to understand these yeah. statistics. The statistics are made up of, they're asking women about safety, right? Mm -hmm. Back in the day, sure. Women in the in the office, some of them didn't like certain advancements from certain men because certain they went too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they didn't know when to stop. Yeah. But also back in the day, women enjoyed compliments from men. That's why they wore 
the certain type of dress attire. That's why they smelled a certain type of way. That's why they did their hair a certain type of way. But because I'm not talking believe about it or not, body. back then women not, liked being complimented mm -hmm. way more than they do now. Look at Miss Bellum. Not, not, yeah, Miss Bellum. I'm not talking, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking Bellum. about that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking I'm about sorry. the actual, actual victims. Oh, you mean that, actual that actually uh, got uh, violence? R worded. Yeah, they actually got. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You yeah, the, and okay. For, yeah, you know what I'm saying. For example, I was going to say the uh, Me Too movement, right? Uh -huh. A lot of people hate on it, right? But it was fueled by social media activism, which I was talking about earlier with the activism on social media. That's actually a good thing, and that has led to uh, increased awareness and uh, legal action against uh, sexual harassment that's been happening in the workplace. Uh, and misconduct in various industries like uh, Hollywood, especially in Hollywood, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, Shouts out to uh, Epstein, right? Shouts uh -huh. out to them people out there. It shined a more light on them that got away with it for 20, 30 plus years. Right. Uh, and it also, me too, uh, contributed to more of a supportive uh, environment for women in the workplace. And I'm talking about, and I want to I wanna shine light on the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation, all right? Mm -hmm. That was a Me Too movement that went wrong to a lot of people. And we talked about it on the channel. I was on Albert Hurst, you know, blah, blah, blah. but I believe Me Too movement also shine light on women like Amber Heard. Some that fake was women. trash. Lying. That was trash. Yeah, fake. Mm -hmm. it, it, it shined a light on the woman that actually was lying <laughs> and, and that actually was being manipulative with things like that. Because I think it was women back like Amber Heard back then. I give you that. I give you that. Like but they but they wouldn't but they wouldn't come out like they were because all these other people came out so we're also getting two and we're, we're killing two birds with one stone in that yeah. type of situation which yeah, i think I, that's more good for our uh generation generation yeah. yeah i give you that though because there was so much so many things that was happening with women where it was just always pushed under the rug or you know the men would be locked up and and, and would never the men would never have a say so or a voice or whatever like that so i agree when it comes down to that because in our generation let that in, our, in a time back then that johnny jepp would have had that situation he would have been already in jail it would have been no question it would have been no court it would have been locked up but i so i do give you that one i give Wait, you that huh what did you say Johnny Depp would have been locked up. They wouldn't ask no questions like he did. He wouldn't win the court. And if did all it was this. twenty years ago, he would have been locked up. No, they. Not, it would have been no case twenty years ago. He would have been locked up. No, no, there would have been no case twenty years ago. The only reason why Amber Heard got even a case because of this generation. Correct. You're way off. Uh, yeah, I, I was just listening. Like, what are you saying, bro? No. Yeah, they they probably gave her a case because of this generation. That, like, that, that's that the that only reason why point. they gave her an opportunity to even yeah. file this because 20 years ago people got away with everything back 20 years ago now let's make lemonade let's use what you just said about johnny depp amber heard right i'm taking a yeah. look at the number of reported forcible rape cases in the united states from 1990 to 2022 what do you see there keon i see in in 2012 2011 they were at all-time lows then around 2013 uh, exponential rise from 2013 to 2018 at the rise of the Me Too movement. Cases went through the roof. All-time highs of cases reported. So like Qui-Gon was talking about earlier how there was more R-A-P-E in the workplace back mm -hmm. when we were coming of age, but they quadrupled in some cases. They, they doubled in some cases. And we're not at, we don't, and some of those percentages are falsely reported cases too. So that's what I'm saying. If social yeah. media incentivizes you to report somebody for something they didn't do, of course you're going to see these numbers inflated. Now, were some of these cases legit? Of course. Of course. Absolutely. But that's what happens when you give a society and say, hey, society, were you touched? Even if you, you know, if you weren't, or you see a woman says, I was, look at, I won millions of dollars for saying I was touched, mm -hmm. whether she's right or wrong. You don't think that other people are going to follow suit? Yes. It's called, what is the name of the, the movement? Me Too. What is, what is the name of it? The Me Too movement. Me Too. It's literally called Me Too. Me Too. Let me get in on that action. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Why God? But, uh, You're yeah. wrong about that, what you said about the cases of the R word when we in, in the yeah. millennial generation i was born in 91 it was pretty high in 91 it's about 100 there was a spike there, there was, was a, a spike but right? wait wait what's what happened 94 98 what were you doing in 1998 jody 
1998, I was 13 years old in the eighth grade. Okay, 1998, let me see, 92, 93, 94, I was six. So let's see, uh, I was seven. 2000, okay, little spike in 2002. What were you doing in 02? In 2002, I was in like the 10th grade, 11th grade, around there, and I was in high school. A year after 9-11 for me, I was in the fifth grade. Um, okay, let's go all the way to 2010 where I graduated. Look at these numbers. They were less than 90,000. In 2010, that's the lowest point out of the 20 years is in, is in 2010. Slightly below 85,000 cases. So from 90 to 91, for at least for me, 90 to 2010 when I graduated, rape, the um, R-A-P-E word was low. Wait, if you look at this here, they were spiked in 92, and mm. then it looks like we got better as a society with that. And they hit all-time lows in 2010. What was going on during the time? There was no internet in 92, 96, 98, 2000. The I internet started obvious. to come around, what, 2002, 2004? Social media is around that time. That's 2012, 13 areas when it took off Twitter, mm. Instagram. Ram, there you go. Yes, sir. So that's when she, see, then we got the 2012. It was done. There you have it. There's your answer. I think it's obvious. I think it's obvious. And I think, uh, Jody, you pointed to it. Jody, you pointed to it a little bit. It is, it spiked because you add a movement called Me Too. So obviously- Which is a social media out. movement. Yeah, which is a social media activism movement. Uh -huh. And Don't call it's it going activism. to spike. It's going to, that's what it is because a lot of women did get R-A-P-E. Sure, so, and a lot of them didn't so it, is a, it is, but that's what I'm saying. That's to lead to my point, right? A lot I'm of gonna give you guys a stream yard link so you guys can call in from your phones, okay? A lot of them didn't and a lot of them did. But that's the thing. You, it gave women more opportunity to open up and say to the men touching them. And that's why it, it raised in a spike. That's that's my opinion about that. Whether it's right, whether I'm uh Here's the link uh, if right you want to join. Whether I'm right or wrong, y'all got to agree that that movement shined, shined a light on it. Uh -huh. And maybe it was wrong or maybe it was right. But that's why a lot of women start coming forward in that and and wasn't and didn't feel like they was getting treated are there women out there that getting mad at a, a man on how a man looked at her or told a joke to her shit e-man can talk about that he damn near got me too didn't he shit. <laughs> <laughs> like um, e-man can talk about that. Like, i mean i'll say this though um far as like the me too movement i feel like even though like it's a lot of craziness with that but i feel like yeah it should be working for the women who actually are going through it not the women who are lying Seeing, oh yeah, he did this, he did that, or they did this, they did that, just to get a check. You know what I'm saying? It's not working for the people who are actually going through the shit. It's working for the people who did. It did not happen to it at but all. But it's still shining a light on it, man. It's still shining a light on it, though. That that a light never been shined on. Nah, for the, at least somewhat, we're talking about somewhat, it. At least we're yeah. having a conversation yeah, about it. At least we're somewhat, having a conversation somewhat, about it, bro. Somewhat, though. But I, but, Instead of but, having it. I believe that having a conversation about something is better than not talking about it at all. That's true. I and that's that. what our generation I did. That. But, look what, your, but look what your generation did. You took the you conversation. Things, yeah, you're talking about it, and then you took the conversation, and you're expanding on it. And then you're only that. You're reaching back. Let's say you had an experience with somebody. Let's say a girl had a problem with a dude 20, 30 years ago, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh -huh. You're gonna retroactively call it R A P E and accuse a man that something happened in your past or something that you probably participated in. That's why this is a great area, at least for me, because their accountability needs to be on both sides for the woman that put herself in that position and the man for the act. They're both equal. Agree. I agree. Me and you agree on this, Keon. It is. It, that, that's not how I you've been talking it. for the last twenty minutes. Me and you do. You agree. don't agree. No, you, no, you're just. We don't agree. To, you just no, no, no. listen to what you want to. You just listen to what you want to. Because I agree with Jody. It is women out there that are trash that do yeah, that. There's women who lie. There's women who lie. I agree. There's so many cases I, of so many women that lie on, on, on these that. people. It's bro. a lot of women that do that. But at the same time, it's still. I go back to the point of it. Still is a light being shined on me on the woman that actually happens. Same. Mm. I I I'm more with the talk about it unless at least have. If a anybody who's with not it. a troll would like to join, the the link is in here. Otherwise, we're gonna dissolve. I, I, I what yeah. I like about it is is that it gets a chance to have women who actually are going through these cases, are going through these situations at the workplace, are going through these situations at wherever they are, and you know they're getting their justice. 
back in the day that shit would have like you said like we said that would have been sweeped under the rug you know nothing would have been said about that that's one thing but it's a lot of women though if that one woman said oh yeah the boss touched me at work say the boss really did touch her at work she speak out on it the other girl around the corner said oh yeah he touched me too she come out and get something the girl around the corner said another girl around the corner said she touched me it should not happen like that it shouldn't operate like that Compared to the woman who actually are go is going through the shit. That's what I'm talking about. They That's took the most bullshit. Bill Cosby out. Yeah. A man who was trying to buy a network. Yeah. yeah. Yep. They We're took billions. a black man. They used the Me Too movement. And it was on purpose. They used the Me Too movement to get Bill Cosby out of there. Because he was, he was going, going to, to be a man. $3.3 billion for NBC. He was going to buy a network. Black that man. is ultimate power. Yep. They used the Me Too movement to get him out of there. To retroactively and get him out. And, and for worked. women that were 30, 40 years ago. Yep. And 40 he, years and ago. then he got out a couple years later because they knew that they, they, it was they a messed lot. up they on didn't the case. They, lied up they on messed it. up yep. on the case, right? Yep. And then I figure he got Me too and put in prison for inviting women upstairs and putting <laughs> Mickeys in drinks. Mm-hmm. Which still wait, wrong. Dudes. But wait, yeah. wait, 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 No, 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 no. Hold the fuck up. Hold on. We don't know for a fact that he did that. These yeah. are oh, that's true assumptions. Too. That's true too. Oh, come on, bro. They said that's that the women said he drugged me and he did things to me. Well, hold on. This is the problem I always had. <laughs> what the frick are you doing coming to my house at 3 a.m. talking about let's go upstairs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. you were saying, right? Yep. You oh, so before you were drugged, you said you want to come upstairs to my apartment at three in the morning yep. and have drinks. Mm -hmm. We all know three in the Stop morning that from bullshit. two, Stop from one that to two, bullshit. from one to three, Stop them booty that call hours, bro. And, and back in the day, in the eighties, that was like, oh, you like me? Let's go do the whoopee. Yeah, in the nineties, yeah. in the but in this generation, don't invite me. You invite me upstairs for drinks at three a.m. That should just mean that I just want to come upstairs. And have drinks with you mm -hmm. in the wee morning hours, in and just talking, and then don't assume anything. And let's just say, saying? let's just say for the sake of ha well, let's say for the sake we we it's have not whoopee. inappropriate. Let's say we made whoopee. Let's apartment. say we let's say we made whoopee. Five years later, I could say you raped me. Twenty years later, you could say it. <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> like, bro, like, this whole came from the seventies. He said, "Oh, you know that." He did he it. Did too. touch he, me. Whoop. Me too. Yep. Me I mean, too. I and they buy, got Bill Cosby out of there. Yeah, I didn't yep. buy that shit. I'm yep. sorry. I didn't buy that shit. Yep. Investigation on the um, one person. Then the come on, but, dude, Jody. Yep. Jody, which one? Which one? That bro. I was when I first heard about it, bro. I was like, I. Maybe this shit is fake, bro. This is just another Me Too movement that they're trying to get this nigga for, right? Yep. Yes. And then, and then, and then, once it became sixty, women came out. I was like, damn, he might have, he might have did it. Once. I felt like it was bullshit no. when it first when that was coming out. I was no. like, nah, you know no way. Out of all, hey, all these women bro, come out and even to all these women, no even to way. This day, what does it mean, Eman? Even even right now in our our brains, our brains are brains of twenty <laughs> years ago. Yeah, right, right, right. 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 Our brains existed of 30 years ago. We're, right. we're the brains of 30 years ago, right? Right. When you go on a date with somebody and it's 2, 1 a.m. And she says, can I come up for some drinks? That's a what are you what are you taking that as? That's a booty call. You're trying to get smashed. I'm about to smash. I'm about to smash. Straight up. There's ah! no You're toxic for thinking that. Yeah, you, you misogynistic <laughs> pig! You fucking ugh, you like disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. That's like a woman. That's like a woman telling a man, "Hey, you want to come up for coffee?" But even then, first thing I, you gonna think, there's an episode man. of Seinfeld, Seinfeld about oh, this. <laughs> that's why I brought it up. She said, "I want to come up for coffee." He knew it was sex. It's talked about in sitcoms, but now you are a disgusting pig to insinuate. Yeah, that I want to do some things to your body parts. The, the Indian dude, I don't know if it was it Aziz Azari. Aziz, yeah, Azari Aziz, yeah. Az yeah, right? Yeah. The woman went on a date with him. He took her home, said, you know, do you want to give me some head? She said she gave him head because she get she was sitting there giving him head. And then later said, I gotta go. I don't like I don't like what you made me do. He says, What are you talking about? I'm sorry. You uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She said she willfully got on her knees and gave him head when she asked, because she had a good date. And then later on, trying to say you freaking assaulted me. You sexually assaulted me. Right? When you give wow. an, an escape route to weirdos, mm -hmm. they're going to press the button. 
If you put someone in a hard situation, if you put me in a hard situation, college or dealing with gangs or being broke, if there was a, a magical button, when I was getting, when I was uh, 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 robbing this store one time and we was all running, I was running to go rob this store, take this lady's purse or something, right? And the police, they was in the, oh, fuck, how'd they get here so quick? If someone magically popped an invisible button, bling, press this button to escape justice. I'm gonna press that shit. Don't put escape routes in front of people, bro, and expect them not to jump on that shit. That's exactly what this is. That's mm. facts. That's facts. It's like those Better Call Saul commercials. Remember that flight 618 that crashed into the sky? Were you traumatically hurt by that in any way? And it doesn't even have to be hard. Was, did the noise scare you? Did you get emotional distress from that? You know, just the fact of your neighbor, even if your neighbor was emotionally distressed, but she came to your apartment and said how emotionally distressed she was, she could have put that emotional distress on you from hearing her emotional distress. Therefore, we're going to sue this airline. It's the Fuck. same shit. Yeah. It's the same shit. Yeah, it's sleazy, wild. like sleazy, frivolous lawsuits. That's wild. That's wild as shit. Weinstein, they got him. He deserved to get the got. The Me Too movement yeah, did a good yeah. thing with Weinstein. He deserved to get got. That was a W. He deserved to get got. Because I don't, I don't dislike what the Me Too movement can do. I hate the movement because what it did do yeah. and what it represented. It didn't represent. So would what you they take said it away? It. Would you take it away? Would you take Absolutely. the Me Too movement yes. away? It's gone. It's gone. You know why? I, I, so I, 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 I wish I never you knew. Still I still could never look at Uma Thurman the same. I'm like, ugh. So you still have, so you still have Weinstein out here. He'll get you caught still have eventually. Wine stings out here. He would have got yeah, caught eventually. Get, but that's the problem with y'all. Maybe generation. not. He'll get caught eventually. That's the problem with y'all. He'll get caught eventually. How about we actually do something and set something up? So, like I said, there's a blessing and a curse with everything you usually do with humans on this earth. I, I no matter what that. generation is in. Sure. They're going to the degree of it. it. That's the degree of the asinine. The degree is what makes it weird. You know, going to a school and slaughtering. 30 children. Says mo look. Yeah, that's more of a priority than you, you worried about ugly. Harvey Weinstein. So you, yeah. yeah. That's a problem. So, yeah. like, that's what I'm saying. So, if you want to be the morality police, if you want to be, like, stand on principle, to me, that's more of a principle to stand on than you worried about freaking Harvey Weinstein and these bitches and their feelings. Right. Um... I believe both of them should be stand, stood on. But they're not. Man out here but they're not. Kidna kidnapping. That's, a, that's the answer out. out. They're not. All right, it's let's, a choice. We got somebody here named Zach. What's up, Zach? How you doing, brother? Can you hear me? You need to unmute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jody, can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's up, man? Welcome to Jody's Corner. You are live, my brother. Yeah, how y'all doing? What's up, right. good. What's We're going good. On, bro? What's up, Blue? Yeah, I was just listening to y'all conversation. And what's and your take? What do you have to say? I am. Well, I just want to start it with I am Gen Z. I'm 21. Okay. Oh, okay. shit. Shout out to you, Blue. 21. That's a great age, brother, for me. Let me turn on my camera. You'll be a man in three more years, Hey, brother. what's up, bro? Hey. Look at Blue. Look at my man. I see you, man. What's up? Team Suss, bro. <laughs> Nah, I've been here before. It's been a minute, though. Okay. It's been a long well, I'm minute. glad that you're here, bro. Yeah, so, as somebody who's Gen Z, man, you hearing us old heads, we saying a lot of bullshit, right? I mean, what's your take on it, bro? How do you feel as somebody who's Gen Z? Nah. Is your generation in, in hell or what or not? Nah? nah, I feel like it's, it's a mixture. But it's definitely more negatives than positives, for sure. Mm. Just because, like, it's just, it's overload, you right. know? What like do you mean by on, overload? Is life harder for you like, guys? You'll go on, you'll go on Insta or some, or like Facebook or whatever, and you'll see like crazy disasters, like just one after another and another, and you'll become like desensitized. Like you won't even feel anything. Like you don't feel anything. You see like a bus full of kids in Vietnam, and then scroll down, and then a bombing here, and then scroll down, and then a war yeah. here, and it's like that's a lot. It's not good for your mental health as well. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not yeah he brings up a good point. Just of all of the shit that that 
he has to deal with of growing up in this society, all the negative shit in yeah. the world can have a negative effect on their psyche, bro. Yeah, for sure. It's not like I can see why there's a bunch of people depressed. Like, because they're just seeing, also, it's not good that they're like, interacting with other depressed people. All they see is depressed people. Like, cause the timeline, it just feeds you what you're used to. Yeah. yeah. So you'll just see, if you're like into some God shit, you'll just see nothing but God and all type of weird shit. You know, yeah. Facebook groups, weirdo. Like, you see all these people, what if, if, let's say like you're, you're someone who's an incel. You're probably going to be in a group full of incels on Facebook. Yep. For sure. Yep. And because they want to be around each other. Yeah, right. and even if, like, if you bring politics into it, like if you, you'll only get things on your feed that boost like what you think and just have you agreeing with, uh, and you're going to interact with people that agree with you. That's a really so good point. So no, if you're an, you're basically what he's like, saying, if you're an yeah. incel, the algorithm will push you towards other incels. And what happens? You have, you complain about uh, men who get girls. You complain about this. And it gets more and more toxic. Toxic, It feeds and it grows into the negativity until sometimes things pop. And it's not a good thing. It was always a good thing. When you get, when I learned how to swim, bro, I taught myself how to swim. You know how? Because I would go to the hood pool and them motherfuckers would throw me in the deep end, bro. And I had to figure yeah. out how to survive. Figure it out, nigga. Yeah, bro. John I, Wayne style. That's how that's I how learned, how learned how to swim. swim. Yes, that's how you That's don't, how you don't learn how to swim. Come to this pool. And, that shit, bro. and you got a brother that drag you by your legs and just dunk bro, you underwater. It's and they try to drown bro. you. I almost drowned a few times, bro. I thought I was going to die. I'm with My you brother with tried to drown me. YMCA, bro. But YMCA. you learn how to swim that way because you want to get away from that Negro. YMCA. So I just, that's how I learned to get away from. I'm, when you're, I'm saying, when you're put out of your comfort zone, yes. you're forced to go into a, a zone that you're not comfortable with, it will make you better, yeah. not worse. What do you think about that? Yeah, for sure. That, that's 100% true. But, that, but that, that's another huge issue that people are just super comfortable. Like, they, they, you can't, like, because even, if, let's say, somehow they get something else on their feed that disagrees with them right they're not going to be in the, the 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 mindset of oh let me hear this person out or hear this whatever they're whatever they're they, they're seeing they're gonna be like nah fake news now nah, this thing it's not it's not real because they're so like brainwashed to the, cause, like it's real like brainwashing is people get brainwashed to the point of no return there's nothing even if they see proof Yep. They'd be like, nah, this is twisted. Somehow this is twisted. Yep. And it's like, it's just like, that's how, we, that's when people get scared. That's when, like, you remember that dude, uh, that one guy that shot up the pizza place because he said, because he thought there was like kids being locked in there. Pizza Gate. Because of, of some Facebook group or some shit like that. Pizza Gate. Yeah. And it was like. So tell me this. Tell me this. How is your generation better? How do you think it's, how do you think it's better than what the previous generation was as a, as a, I guess as a generation as a whole, what do you like about your generation? I would say like more that there's more people connected like throughout the world, you know, which is oh, that's a good like one. you can like you can just I can instantly text someone that I know from the UK, which yeah. is like that's pretty cool. Like, you could just text someone from the other side of the world, Australia, Africa, like and it's just no problems. You don't even think about it. But like if you told that to somebody. 1991 it doesn't even make any sense it wouldn't they wouldn't even know how to process that that's actually a good you point know? you're right that's true. that's true i like how connected we are hey and i will also say like oh, is there anything else that that makes it better uh, i'd have to think about it but it's not much it's not much because like when i think about it because i'm actually since i'm 21 i grew up without a phone with i didn't have like i didn't have a gaming system until i got a little bit older uh -huh. i was outside so it was like, I actually, I'm actually, I'm not the right, you know, people that are like born in late 2000, like 2009, those type of people, they grew up with a phone in hand. Right. I didn't really grow up with that. I was At least outside. you played outside though. I remember you played riding outside. bikes, riding yeah. scooters. Yeah, that was, that was my childhood, watching Saturday morning cartoons. That's dope. Yeah. So pretty, I, I that wouldn't say dope. like our yeah. childhood are that much different, but then I also, as I got into my early teens, that's when I got connected to, that's when I started having like an started getting iPods, stuff like that, getting connected to, to the internet. So I actually, I got the best of both worlds. That's dope. Hey, that's good, bro. So you, walk, yeah. so you walked outside Fantastic. with a trench coat and a shotgun stealing iPods, my nigga? 
Nah, nah, nah. Omar, nah. they go Omar. Outside, <laughs> <laughs> At least he was <laughs> outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he didn't hey, there's another outside. one. There's yeah, another one that I think so, about that so. I appreciate about his generation, about the Gen Z, is the, the power of, and it ties to what he said about being connected. It's the power of the social media activism. Mm. George Floyd yeah. was a worldwide movement. I was really Crazy. proud of that, bro. I was really proud of that. I saw and France. You know, actually, you know, France I'm, was I'm rioting in, in, in the streets. What'd you say? I'm in Minnesota. I was here when it happened. It's right. It's actually North Minneapolis. I'm in North Minneapolis. Oh, you're in so, Minneapolis. It Fuck. Was right, it was like it was like three minutes away from my house. The yeah, whole really. world was looking at your city and seeing yeah. something that happened so close to you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Just in general, society, it's scary, you know? Skynet's on its but way. Hopefully, you know, you, all you can do is hope. You know? The conscious Just, ones, the ones who got that third eye open, the ones who are truly oh, woke, will survive. We nah, will be hey, fine. Hey, hey you're listen, young, but you got a good head on your shoulders, bro. Yeah, but listen, the one good thing is those sex robots. <laughs> on, I need that. Everything else, I don't want the ones that's going to choke me out and push me, push me into the mirror and... You know, Sex I robots. Robots. <laughs>